Now, are we going to want to chain anything up at this tower, or are we just taking hand tools? All we need is a tweaker and cutters. Damn, four sounds good. Our job is helping provide families with a lot of clean energy, knowing that I get to work with something that is renewable and actually sustainable is awesome. My name is Jessica Jackson. I am 37 years old. I made 73,000 as a wind turbine technician in Bee County, Texas. I work here in South Texas at Helena Windsite. I've been a wind turbine technician for about four and a half years. Before I got into wind, I was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years. It was difficult being a single mom, not having a college degree. I have uh, four kids. I am the only provider in my home, uh, and I'm able to take care of all my children and my two dogs and my fish all by myself, so yes. <laughs> I gotta go work. I'll be back, though, okay? Give her a hug. Mm. Okay, lady. I'll bite you. <laughs> I would recommend this job if you don't have a college degree, apply anyway. They will give you the skills that you need to succeed here. So I'm gonna go do this inspection. I made about 73,000 in 2023 before taxes and I made 68,000 after taxes. Salary for technicians ranges on tech level. So tech ones are about 60,000. Tech twos or 73,000. Tech threes range about 80,000. And then your lead techs are pushing on six figures. We have great benefits, got great health care, great dental, great eye care. I even have insurance for my pets. We are all covered. So we drive EV trucks out here. More sustainable, uh, less emissions out there on the roads. This is a, a Ford F-150 Pro. This is a charger. It is a little challenging uh, being a woman working in wind. Being able to prove to these guys that I can work with them and work just as hard as they do uh, definitely was a little challenging in the beginning. You kind of have to earn that faith, but once you got it, you got it. A wind turbine produces energy that Energy then goes to the grid. The grid then powers your homes, your businesses, your cell phones, your TVs, and it's all clean energy, so it's good for the environment. My job is to maintain and service these towers to keep them running. Wind turbines are like computers. They are constantly communicating back to us. They have lots of sensors and communications that come back to us and let us know, hey, this is what's wrong with us. So we take that information, get the tools and parts necessary that we need, and we go to the turbine, climb up, and fix that problem. We're gonna be changing out a, uh a temperature sensor today and get it back communicating with the tower so it doesn't fall. Safety is very important to me. Uh, if I was to cut any corners in safety, it could be the reason why I don't go home today. So I wanna keep safety in mind with everything that we do. Preparing to climb the wind turbine, uh, you want to make sure that your harness fits really well. You want to make sure you got good fitting gloves. You got your eye probe, you got your hard hat. All these things work together to keep you safe when climbing the wind turbine. Climbing the wind turbine is not as scary as you would think. Here at my site, we have 80 meter and 105 meter towers. It takes about five to 10 minutes to get up there. I usually like to listen to music on my way up. Makes the climb a little less boring. So 
the best views from up here. Office views like no other. Your wind turbine is kind of like your car. It's gonna have its maintenances, its oil changes, cooling system checks, communication checks, it's got motors, pumps, all those things need to be changed out, checked. And we do that on a daily basis to keep those turbines running and producing power. I'd say the hardest part about this job is climbing up the tower and then getting back down. Down is a lot easier than going up. Not too bad, just hot, so yeah. Not out of breath at all, just need to wipe this sweat. Being a woman technician, uh, there are not many of us. So if you're a woman out there and you think that you cannot do this job, you can do this job. I was 33 when I started this job and I was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years before I did this job. So climbing these towers definitely helps me stay and fit. I definitely do not have to go to the gym. Uh, I am a healthier person. I can do more things with my children uh, and be more involved in my community. I plan to continue to work and win until I retire, but I'm going to continue to push and move up to eventually be a lead tech one day. I'm extremely grateful for this job. Uh, I love what I do. If I was doing something else, I could tell you that I probably would not be as happy.